Hello, and welcome back to the Adrian Bauer Project. Many, many thanks to using to click on my thumbnail and to watch my content. Very much appreciated as always. Okay, so uh, you may have seen in a previous video that I did a plain talking review, having a look at what's in the box of the game called Ghost Castle. If you remember back to that one, um, if you've not seen it, I'll I'll link it up there somewhere, wherever it'll be. But if you remember from that one, I said that uh, Ghost Castle was the favourite game that I ever had when I was a kid. And uh, I always wanted it again <laughs> as an adult, just to have the memories flooding back. And we found this one. Uh, our best friends in America, Bill and Kim Evans. Hello. They uh, managed to get a copy for us and uh, sent it us over. So we finally put it all together and we've had a game as well. So what I'm going to do today, uh, I'm just going to uh, talk to you about uh, how the game uh, went together and I'll talk about uh, the game as well because uh, I don't think we're going to need uh, <laughs> to be sat there watching me and Claire uh, playing this one and I'll tell you why in a minute. Okay, so as we can see, I can't quite get it all uh, in camera shot. Sorry about that, but we do have uh, the little ghost on the top. Uh, the setup is uh, pretty straightforward itself. It's just a, a, a lot of pushing out these little characters uh, out of the uh, the card and fitting them on to their little stands. So you've got eight different characters there. And then, of course, you've got to set up the game itself. Uh, there are a couple of, of bits you have to follow. Uh, just follow the instructions and they are really easy. Uh, what I would suggest is, though, that if you've got uh, younger children, got this game for younger children, uh, get the adults to set it up uh, just so you can make sure all the parts go together properly. Um, it's it's fairly straightforward it's it's all slopped together what you do have to watch out for though are some of these little clips here because uh just on this section here there is sort of like uh, a balcony thing that the ball rolls down and goes into there and you have to get these two clips here clipped onto the board and what i've i've done it couldn't be helped but you 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 try and push them down because they're really tight because you need that, that tight fit and it has actually pushed the, the top top layer of the paper off so that will have weakened that so you have to be careful around how you do that um but for the most part it all slots together really easily um what i, I would suggest is if at all possible just to leave it set up as it is, just find a, a corner where it's not going to get knocked and just put it away that way. Uh, I would leave uh, taking it down and setting it up and taking it down, setting it up. I'd leave that to a, a bare minimum as much as you can because, like I say, it is only cardboard and it's not going to be long before, like I say, these little places here where they are are going to get weakened and card, the card gets bent and of course when this kind of card gets bent and it gets creased then that's it there's no way back and it really weakens it so uh, that's just a little thought there um what i am going to do on those parts there i'll probably uh, get some nail varnish or some clear clear nail varnish and just put a, the smallest dab on just to harden those bits up so in future it's not going to uh, uh, weaken it too much uh, as I say the setup is really easy 
uh, nothing to it. It's, it'll take you about about ten minutes. You follow the instructions, and yeah, you know, jobs are good. And it's not going to be too hard. Also, with this game, that if you feel that yeah, I'm going to have to uh, put the game away, it shows you how to put the game back in the box properly, so you're not damaging any of the parts. So that would be dismantling some of these parts that uh, you've already set up which is uh, the reason why I said if you can leave it up for as long as you can I, I would do and that way you're not going to be weakening the joints uh, or you know especially these holes here where pieces clip on okay so that's the setup uh, as for the gameplay I mean clear I've just had a game and it is a real laugh it's a real laugh if you're playing uh, two to four players then all your players have to get two of these figures, figures round. Uh, if there's five or six of you playing, then you have uh, a player each. Of course, if there's, there's eight of you playing, well, I get eight of you round this, and then everybody gets gets a player each. But if there's five or six, then you have one player each and two to the uh, player token things are left out. Um, right, the reason why I said <coughs> I wouldn't do <laughs> a video of showing of us uh, playing the game, one, because once you've gone from this side of the board, you have to go from over to that side of the board, and I don't have a, an overhead camera, so that would either mean turning the board around and everything falling over, or moving the camera and wobbling about, so I thought it'd make it a bit easier. Uh, but that wasn't the main reason. <laughs> The main reason is, now for those of you that can remember the game from the 70s, you had to start from that side of the board and work your way around the haunted house and get up to the top of the stairs to win. That's how you won the game. In this version, you start at the top of the stairs and you've got to try and get out of the ghost castle. Now, every time you land on a red zone, that's a danger zone, you have to press the little button on top of the ghost here, releases the ball. And Claire and myself, it took us a good 15 minutes. <laughs> it was a good 15 minutes before we actually got our first characters down the stairs in the safety of being on the floor. Uh, the ball, whether it's because my table's not level or just how it is, the ball just kept coming down the stairs every time and you know it was about five, three times out of five it came down the stairs and it kept knocking us down so it did take us a while to get off the stairs but I uh, say once we got into the room that that, that didn't matter too much so uh, but no it was it's a great laugh absolutely enjoyed playing this game one for the family, or like I said on my Facebook page, this is either one for the family or for the big kid in you. <laughs> we just sat with a big grin on his face. It's absolutely superb. Uh, the little ghost on the top, that's where um, I'll give you the, the ball bearing. Where's the ball bearing gone? It's gone there. I keep knocking these little pieces over. There we go. The ball bearing goes into the top of the ghost. That goes onto the top of there, and then you press the little button and it drops drops the ball into wherever it's going to go so just to, let's have a look on here where's this one going to go and it's done the axe at the back <laughs> so there is a little uh, a little chopper at the back and I'll just turn this may I actually turn the game around just so you can have a, a quick look around the back of the game as well so if you bear with here we go just turn that round and that is what the back of the game looks like so we've come through uh, you've got that that board there that goes up that's like a moving picture you go through you've got a wobbly wobbly floorboard the axe that's just falling down and that's where you finish the game uh that's, that's like i say we've just had uh, a game with it really enjoyed it it was a real real laugh uh, it'll bring out the big kid in you, but if you can't have a laugh at this kind of thing, then I think you need you need to go have a word for yourself. 
it's just total enjoyment switch your brain off easiest game to play in the world we thoroughly enjoyed it we're looking forward to playing another game so we just turn the little ghost around there so with all that in mind i'm going to give this game oh it's, it's going to have five evil, evil enders all the way because we thoroughly enjoyed this game it's absolutely fantastic and i think even if you have a games night yourself and you've got adults around you're going to have a laugh with this so there we go it's going to get my five evil edners and that's the end of today's video i hope you all enjoyed that one Please remember, if you haven't done so already, to subscribe to my channel, it'd be very much appreciated. And also, don't forget to ring that little notification bell.